So I broke the first rule of buying collections. The absolute biggest rule of collection buying is only pay for the cards that you can see. But I bought this collection without seeing a single card and I paid $500 for it. So I have literally no idea what to expect. So let's crack it open and see what happens. So uh, yeah, we got this big box. Inside this big box is a a littler box, a microphone box here. So the way this works, someone, someone took and uh, someone took and uh, sent me a message after the last video, and they said, "Hey, I'm trying to sell my collection. I saw your video. I was wondering if you'd want to buy my collection. What do we have in here? I was wondering if you'd want to buy my collection. Uh, I don't really know." how good it is or what's in there but i think it's better than your last one and i said you know what <laughs> let me think about it and they said 500 bucks send me 500 bucks i'll send you the collection and i said you know what i might be getting scammed here but uh i'm a gambler at heart so <laughs> so we might as well uh we might as well see what happens so here's what we got we have uh one two fat pack boxes we have this box we have a deck box in this lord of the rings box let's save the deck box for last i always like to save the decks for last so one thing i will say is just looking at what we got here a lot of lord of the rings and whatnot uh makes me think we might not be getting a ton of really old stuff so okay this is actually sealed packs what in the okay um so we have this this card thing we have this card thing we have <laughs> oh these are Okay, exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, <laughs> open Lost Caverns of Ixalan Draft Booster Packs. Not a not a good side. Oh my god, did we get scammed? Are these all just going to be commons and uncommons? So what? Ooh, wow, okay. So that is a... Interesting. So that is a foil promo. You see the 2023 down there? That is a foil promo Resplendent Angel that is actually still in the still in the package I'm, I'm not sure how much this is worth resplendent angel was like 30 bucks but then i got reprinted in lost cameras of Ixalan and dropped a lot but uh okay so so we have a resplendent angel foil that's good a <laughs> full art island in a sleeve yep wow this is this is all over the place uh some random tokens oh no these are just are these these might actually be the booster packs. <laughs> these might literally be the booster packs. I think these are literally the... Well, you wouldn't get two hidden volcanoes. Okay, there's a Breaches. That's a that's a rare. Ah, some cave action. Cosium Confluence. Uh, I'm not expecting much of value out of... <laughs> Ixalan Draft Boosters. Pelini's Hatcher. Dinosaurs have not made it in standard. Poison Drop Fire looks so innocent, but this card has been a nightmare in Limited. It's so good in Limited. Uh, what else do we have? So, okay, so I think this is literally... This is literally just those draft boosters that even included the packs. Sorcerer Spyglass down to Uncommon now. Okay, so, so far... So far, this is essentially nothingness. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is literally... Oh, braided net. Okay, so there's like a couple of rares. I'm pretty sure this is actually actually the cards. For, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay. Relentless Reef, sure. Uh, Re Restless Reef, Restless Vents, Hidden Cataract. Uh, I think these are actually the cards from these booster packs. Okay, so that box was not the most exciting. Not the most exciting. What about what about Lord of the Rings? How's Lord of the Rings? Wow, this is just honestly stuffed in there, isn't it? uh okay let's let's see what's in here <laughs> let's see what's in here so uh so lord of the rings has some expensive cards we could use like a one ring that would be good <laughs> oh for 500 bucks we're gonna need some serious hits in the rest of these uh in the rest of these cards okay so a bunch of foil lands these are not necessarily well not necessarily that valuable there's so many foil full art lands now that they just aren't really aren't really worth much of anything. Uh, there are a lot of them though. I mean, they're good for playing with, right? Forge a new foil, Sharky, Sharkly, Sharky. Oh, the most exciting part about this. Oh, oh, wow. Okay, that is a mystical tutor. That's pretty sweet. That's like might be the best hit we've had so far. I mean, I guess we pull out these rares, even if they're not, they're not good. 
so we can look through them at the end this is okay so there's a few rares and now we're back to ixalan ixalan bulk what is going on with these cards these cards are like oh all right let's set you down i don't know why my why my mouse is in screen um oh it's it's just comments oh no oh boy uh the possibility of us getting zero value out of this is increasing rapidly this might have been the worst 500 dollars i've ever spent okay so we went from like kind of cool lord of the ring stuff to just like bulk ixalan again is this someone who just like started playing magic like in the last in the last year and like opened a few packs and then managed to sell them to me for five hundred dollars that's ooh, okay parallel lives parallel lives is value that's like that's a hit right i know it's dropped a lot because of the reprinting but still that's that's a very good that's a very good card value wise ley line of anticipation it does look nice what do you think of this treatment i kind of like it. at first i didn't like it but the more i see this treatment the wilds of eldering treatment in actual like paper cards the better the better it looks i've come around on it a little bit i mean leyline's a couple of bucks the iron craig lord skitter's blessing uh twining twins talion see turns out talion actually not as good as shieldred <laughs> there were rumors of that in spoiler season sir ginger regal bunny corn i mean we're getting a lot of rares here which are sweet unfortunately they're just rares from like ooh okay okay virtual loyalty this is this is actually it this is one of the best cards in standard right now so that's probably worth like 10 bucks are kind of the wild rose i was hyped about this when it came out but that archetype hasn't really taken off so we have some full art Ooh, all right frodo samwise Gollum. Ooh, there it is there it is so these are the what the the promos from the bundle i believe these are actually like Eh, not bad i mean the one ring is the hit of course so <laughs> so we get the the sam and the frodo and the golem but uh the one ring and it does look pretty nice in foil i would say uh all right what do we get here hit us so this is by far the most valuable card we've gotten so far hit us who carry sunfall Irritin, yada slime foot and squee Ooh, foil foil luris look at the foil shimmer i hate that card but <laughs> value wise it's good wrinkle into our brand Ooh, a tally foil one of the saddest things about collector booster era of magic is foils just aren't worth anything and aren't exciting anymore they used to be they used to be the chases cards but wait wait a minute whoa 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 whoa! did you get another bundle did you get another oh wait 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 oh frodo wait where's the one ring oh wait <laughs> come on now everything but the one ring Maybe it's in the deck. Ooh, true name nemesis. There was a time when this was like 50 bucks. Forge Anew. Samwise Gamgee. Sam Part 2. Goldberry. Oh! <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. Maybe we didn't get scammed. I mean, we got a one ring and a Ragavad already. Uh, and we're only like two... Not even... We're like not even that far into this. Okay, I, I've changed my mind maybe we are not getting scammed in the in buying a collection without seeing any cards is <laughs> is the pathway forward maybe it was genius i was thinking i was an idiot but no now now i'm thinking i'm a genius hidden genius <laughs> uh anything else good in here reprieves reprieves are probably worth a, a couple of bucks okay so i mean we got a ragavan and a one ring those are by far the biggest hits i do wonder where the other one ring is right because we got two sets of we got two sets of the rest of the bundle promos but we don't have the other one ring i wonder if it'll appear in the rest of these boxes we haven't gone through this pile yet right get some more uh... <laughs> oh wait there's cards in there too wow this is like literally everything these are <laughs> here you go uh would you like six booster packs of lord of the rings tales of middle earth on magic arena first come first serve it's in the video <laughs> I will not be entering this code, so uh, head to Arena, type that in in the store, and uh, you get six free packs. And uh, also a ring token. All right, what else do we get here? So, I mean, at least it seems like this person, Sauron, bought some Lord of the Rings, which is a relatively valuable set. Even, like, stuff like Trolls, Lorien Reveal, those are worth... Wait, there's there's another one. There's another one. Boom. <laughs> head over to arena get them free packs all right 
Well, free packs, uh, free packs galore. Merkwood bats. Remember when people wanted to ban this card? There was actually people being like, oh, we got to ban this broken. Honestly, no, that's, <laughs> that's not exactly true. I'm pretty sure what happened, and this is one of the things that drives me the most crazy about the internet, is I'm pretty sure one like new player with three followers tweeted something on Twitter that was like, oh my God, Merkwood bats is so broken. We need to ban this card. And then like 20 people somehow found that tweet and like dunk tweeted on them like, oh my God, we're never going to ban Merkwood bats. What are you thinking? And next thing you know, the narrative is like, oh my God, Merkwood bats. People want to ban Merkwood bats. It's like when you read a news article and, uh, <laughs> And and you see them like quote someone from Twitter with no followers as evidence to back up their news. I'm like, uh, no, why does that why does that matter? Why do I care? Lotho, C D H a bowl Lotho. <laughs> Ballistic Boulder, some token action. I would really love another one ring. Or a Bowmasters. Or even the Nazgul. Where's the Nazgul's? Did this person just not open Lauren's Revealed? I mean Lauren's Revealed is one of the most valuable comments. So it's like kind of a Kind of a win for for being a common. It's not going to get us back our $500. Shire Seraph. Man, the Lord of the Rings set was so good. I'm happy just looking through these cards again. It's been a while since I've opened or done anything with Lord of the Rings cards. And this looks like just all the, the random commons and uncommons. The random commons and uncommons from the Lord of the Rings set. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah. No Nazgul's. How did they manage to not get a Nazgul? On all these cards. Lots of cool lands, though. All right. Well, so those are the two little boxes. Let's go to uh, this bigger box. What do we got in here? <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a uh, Saffron Olives Pikachu. Birthday surprise. <laughs> is, this, is this actually designed to write someone's name in? <laughs> If it's not your birthday, this attack does 30 damage. If it is your birthday, flip a coin. If it's heads, this attack does 30 damage plus 50 more. If it's tails, this attack does 30. <laughs> All right. Well, thank, thank you. Thank you. We also appear to have a whole bunch more. I have a question. <laughs> after after seeing this. Ooh, that is a. Wow, that is actually a super sweet die. What is this from? Is this. Is this from a product? Is this a Lord of the Rings die? Oh, it's a Lord of the Rings die. That actually looks really nice. I have a question now that I'm seeing this collection. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Disaster. Disaster has struck. My question though, as I'm picking up these cards that I dropped like an idiot. My question to you is, do you save your booster packs? I didn't know that was a thing people did. Huh? What in the world? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what any of this stuff is. Does this have value? What is this? What game is this? Oh, it's Pokemon. Okay. Are we Pokemon rich? <laughs> okay. So we have some Pokemon cards. That's a Pidget. A Pidget. Okay. Well, now I guess we got to learn Pokemon real quick. Uh, so this thing, eh, probably not very good. Basic. It's basic. Can't be good. Is, it, is this a land? Is this a Pokemon land? <laughs> the equivalent of a basic land? Pidget EX. The EX, though. Oh, it's still basic, though. What is... Oh, stage two. We're going up there with Metagross. Chortle. <laughs> Wait, is this ability water gun? I do not understand Pokemon. I do not understand. Surfing Pikachu. Ooh. Max. Okay, that's got to be good. Plus, he's surfing. Who doesn't want a surfing Pikachu? Uh, Stir Child. Oh God! If you think I'm bad at pronouncing magic names, watch me try to say Pokemon names from a game I don't even know. <laughs> uh, Mewtwo. Wait, isn't this worth like millions of dollars? See, the problem is the problem with the uh, with Pokemon is I know they have like really expensive versions and really cheap versions of the same card. Oh, Detective <laughs> Detective Pikachu has an ability to take a coffee break. <laughs> <laughs> Power tablet. Ooh, wow. Oh, oh, that's a that's an interesting card. So this is a foil Japanese, I believe, box topper from Double Masters of Blight Steel Glosses. I actually don't know what this is worth. I bet it's worth something. And it's like, oh, it is sweet looking. Wow, look at that card. 
We have some really cool cards in in this collection so far. I will give this credit. Oh, okay, a bunch of foil basics. Yep, yep, yep. I will give it credit. Like, we've got a one ring, and we've got in. Oh, God. We got cards going both direction. We've got a one ring, and we've got in a bunch of Pokemon cards for some reason. And we got a Ragavan, and now this Blightsteel. So we actually have some, uh, some high end stuff, at least. I. So far, I don't know if this is adding up to $500. So far, I'm thinking we might be Fanghorn. That is a, I like this card. I don't know if it's, I know it's not valuable, but can we find another one ring in here? How many one rings do we have? There's so many Mirkwood bats. Imagine if those Mirkwood bats were like Nazgul's. We'd be Nazgul rich. <laughs> okay, so I went from thinking this was the worst idea ever to this was the best idea ever. Now I'm back in the middle, but I think we're doing like, better than I would have expected. Angular. Angular is probably worth a couple of bucks. I'm pretty sure Angular is worth a couple of bucks. I don't think Sam... I mean, I'll pull it out. I'm pretty sure... Oh, this is a Commander Precon Sam. This one's definitely not worth anything. Too many Commander Preguns. Elven Chorus sees a little bit of play. The other thing we... This Sam is worth a little bit because it sees some modern play and was not in a Precon. The other thing about these Lord of the Rings cards is they're going to become really tough to reprint in like two years. So a lot of these Lord of the Rings cards are cards that I'm interested in just like... Stern Scolding, playable. Uh, interested in holding on to for a while because I feel like eventually the... The value is going to go up, is my guess. So I think eventually the value is going to go up. There's not that many in existence, and Watsy can't easily reprint more. Now we have this. This box is stuffed full. I'm guessing with random commons and uncommons, but we will find out. What is? What is that? Is that a pack? No. Oh, I see. There's a fat pack. Okay. So, uh, more Lord of the Rings. A lot of Lord of the Rings. Is this just all? All commons and uncommons. Outside of outside of literally Nazgul, I don't think any of the Lord of the Rings commons and uncommons are like that valuable. Some of the land cyclers are decent. Well, there's there are rares. Can we get a how about a one ring or a bowmasters? We're hitting lots of janky tree folk. Oh, Lorian revealed. We'll pull we'll pull it out. We'll pull it out. Every every couple books counts. That's another thing about collection buying. If we all extended Oliphant might be worth something. It's another thing about buying collections and trying to uh, make money off of it or get your money back. Um, every every couple of bucks really adds up. You gotta be you gotta be willing to dig through and pull out all those two dollar cards, or else it's just not gonna be not gonna be worth it. Because if you think about it, there's a lot of like one or two dollar cards and you get like 20, 30, 50 of those that ends up being a hundred dollars. Like all the cheap stuff adds up to more than the Ragavan and the One Ring. Uh, Gollum, Morgul's Lieutenant. What Gollum is this? Oh, Gothmog, okay. <laughs> Reading the card explains the name of the card. Yeah, this seems to be just mostly commons and uncommons from Lord of the Rings. Trolls of Khazadum. Kind of wild that those land cyclers became so good. I guess one mana cycle for non-basic land is actually kind of impressive. Well, okay, so that was nothing too spectacular. I'm curious about this. What in the world is this? That's like a pack? All right, we're going to save that. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, wait, there's good cards in here. They're, they're not just all bad cards. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is much better. We have real cards. Apprentice's Folly. Ooh, Prismatic Omen. Prismatic Omens is good. Hilda. Hilda hasn't really uh hasn't really taken off. See some commander play. There at least there's at least there's higher rarity stuff, Daxos. Oh, back to back to comments. What a weird mix. What a weird mixture of cards. So it's all newer stuff. From like the last couple of years, but it's just like commons and uncommon. Everything's just kind of mashed together in here. I am curious about what's in that pack. There better be some good stuff. We saw like Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. One ring part two. I had a feeling if this was really this person's entire collection, once we saw the rest of those promos, there's a pretty good chance there should be a one ring in there somewhere, right? The second one ring. So I think we're, I think we're, uh, we're looking up two one rings of Ragavan and that Blightsteel. Let's see if there's other, 
other decent stuff in here. I'm going to set this stuff aside for now. What do we have in here? Oh, okay. Bunch of, <laughs> bunch of commons. Uh, Jungle Hollow. Cheaty lands. All right, Frodo. Well, there's a couple Nazgul's. Oh, Bowmasters. Okay, that's a that's a good one. Bowmaster is one of the most busted cards. These cards right here, like Nazgul's, I think have dropped a little bit with the reprinting, but still, like two Nazgul's and an Orcish Bowmaster. Uh, that's that's some serious value. Double Suraman, Shadow of the. Okay, so here's all the here's all the rares from the Lord of the Rings set. Boromir, and they get so many cool uh, cool styles as well. All right, I guess we actually got to look at these. So, Suramon, subject at the ho Hobbit, it's not worth anything. Boromir, Field as a Firing Pan. Ooh, what about this? Is there another card there? There is. What is this card? Dawn of the New Age. Mythic, but not really worth anything. Like, even something like this. Like, that's a sharp looking magic card. They can't reprint it. Boromir's, like, close enough to being playable. Sauron's Ransom sees some play. Like, even something like that, I could see being worth a couple bucks in, in a. A few years. Uh, Mithril Go. This card's actually really good. This is, like, I think the new best way to make a creature indestructible in Commander, equipment-wise, at least. Ooh. Andular Foil. Sauron the Dark Lord. I wonder if Sauron's worth anything. I'm gonna have to look. <laughs> like I said, I didn't know... Oh, my goodness. Foil Blow Masters. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. This is... This is shaping up. I think we might actually be doing all right on this collection somehow. <laughs> okay, so the secret is to just never look at anything. Just haphazardly, randomly spew your money around <laughs> and trust in the magic gods that it's going to work out. <laughs> uh, all right, we're back to uh, to mostly jank here, I think. <laughs> Uh, Ren's Resolve actually might be worth a couple bucks. This is play. Don't actually take that advice. This is this is the worst way to actually buy. The riskiest way to actually buy a collection. But uh, it might be working out this time. It might actually be worth, uh, working out. Fair here. Not worth anything, but... So this person definitely bought a lot of Lord of the Rings. Eh, reprieve. We'll pull out the Reprieve. I like all these foil lands. I don't think they're really worth much, but I feel like eventually... Eventually, all the Lord of the Rings lands might be. They are unique looking. Even in even in the era of, like, special lands every set, the Lord of the Rings ones might actually carry some weight. Uh, all right, Shire Terrace. Well, done with that pile. So we're, we're on to our last box. What's... <laughs> Red Cap Cutter Dwellers. Promo. So we have the rest of this box... We have that pack, too, we got to look at. I'm curious. I'm curious what in the world is in that pack. Flowering of the White Tree. Card's good. It doesn't have a home, but it's good. All right, let's 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 do it. I have never... I don't even know what this is. This is like... It seems sealed. But it's not like a real... <laughs> I don't know what this is. I don't know... I don't know what. This is like a wax pack or something. Is this something to be excited about? Is this a jumpstart pack? Land. Wait, is that... Oh, is this from, like, pre-release or something? Why is... <laughs> Why is there this mini pack of lands? Okay, well, mini pack of lands. Not actually helpful. Well, we got this pile, and we got whatever's in this deck box. Huntsman's Redemption. Card actually sees a bit of play. Uh, Alright, so some tokens. Some random foils which again we're not in the era where foils are actually worth anything unless they're good cards and even then like ollie font might be worth pulling out i'm not even sure a lot of times now with recent sets the foils are worth the same or less than the non-foils fire inscription so this is all just foil lord of the rings commons and uncommons by the looks faramir nasty end yeah i don't know build a pony uh, 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 ooh, build a pony. Uh, Lauren revealed foil, pretty good. Um, okay, non foil world. Bergen took Bilbo, Gollum, Oliphant. I mean, I'm gonna pull out the land cyclers. I, I know when we're counting up the prices, you're probably like, that's not actually worth anything. But the foil land cyclers might be worth like a, enough to make it worth pulling out. 
Eleanor Gardner. Ooh, Nazgul number three. Okay, that's our. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, these are these are good. Let's put the the stuff we went through back here. So these are actually kind of sweet. Helm's Deep, also known as Sink of the Blood, uh, Blood Soak Keep. Foil. Oh, that's like the worst one. These are the the buy a box promos. <laughs> They have the the different name for the Lord of the Rings set. Mouth of Ronin, though, is like literally the ooh, the worst one you can hit. But that is a Delighted Halfling. Delighted Halfling's a good one. Not a promo. Shadow Sphere. Morgul Knife. That's a, that is, ooh, another Delighted Halfling. Oh, my God. Ooh, Grey Edge. Grey Edge. Oh, Party Tree Grey Edge. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. One Ring, number three. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. We didn't get scammed. We didn't get scammed. Oh, this is actually, this was actually worth it. This was actually worth it. Clouds to a curio. Oh my God, Ander, Ander, Glamdering. Baradur. Tom Bombadil, Baradur, Forge New. Oh, we just had to find the good stuff. Oh my goodness. We've gotten three One Rings, double Nazgul's. A bunch of other Lord of the Rings stuff that I'm going to have to go through and see. Like, some of this stuff, I don't know, maybe, like, is Forging New worth a couple of dollars? Is Flame of Ander worth a couple of dollars? It might be. Prize Pig. Prize Pig is actually a really good card. One of my, I have the, I have a Salmon Frodo Commander deck. Prize Pig, because whenever you crack a food, it gets to untap because you gain enough life. Actually, kind of an insane mana piece. Like, almost, it's kind of like a combo piece, actually. It's like a mana dork that also can be a combo piece. Rivendell. Legolas. Too greedy, too deep. Is that even Lord of the Rings? Oh, it's Lord of the Rings Commander. Yeah, this stuff. Ooh, Castle Art and Vale. This stuff I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm going to have to look a lot of this up. I'm not sure. So I know none of this is, like, super expensive, but some of it might be worth uh, a couple of bucks. And like I was saying before, all those couple of bucks add up. Well, I mean, oh, two delighted half legs, three the one rings, double double bow masters. So I mean, this is kind of like opening a bunch of really good <laughs> Lord of the Rings boxes. Sauron the Necromancer, Lotho. I think Lothos were something, just because it sees so much CDH play. Ooh. That's a nice Sam. That's probably the best Sam. Look at that card. I gotta give Watsy all the credit. I know sometimes, sometimes we complain about things Watsy does, and rightly so. Sometimes the things Watsy does deserves complaining about. Uh, they did Lord of the Rings super right though. Like for every for every miss, like Lord of the Rings makes up for a uh, for a chunk of those because it is so good. The cards look good. They played good. The IP is iconic. It does not get. It does not get much better than Lord of the Rings. I'm hoping, honestly, Lord of the Rings itself has sort of started to win me over uh, on the idea of universes beyond potentially being good. The more, if they can hit another couple, like let's say we go to, uh, we go to the Final Fantasy set or whatever in a, in a couple of, in a couple of months couple of years months couple of years we go to the final fantasy set if we end up hitting a a similar level to lord of the rings i think i'm i think i'm all in i think i'm all in on universes beyond like you have won me over as someone who was willing to give it a chance but overall was like skeptical i think that uh that would do it one more lord of the rings level set and maybe it'll never happen maybe it's not even possible to have another lord of the rings level set because there's not another lord of the rings but it has gone a long way. Okay, so this is our pile of good cards. It's not a huge pile, but uh, let's let's go to our last treasure here. Is this an actual deck? So this is a deck box. It, in, ooh, it looks like it might be. It is a it is a nice Ultimate Guard deck box. Ultimate Guard makes some uh, some good stuff. Also uh, sponsors a Commander channel. Good taste in deck boxes. Ooh, all right, Rise of the Dark Realms, Rustville Bridge. Is this no? Well, maybe this isn't a deck. Oh, it's definitely not a deck because there's there's mute Mewtwo's in there. Why are these cards sleeved? Why, who sleeves? Uh, I do not know anything about these Pokemon cards. I bet there's gonna be people yelling at me in the chat about or in the comments about how how valuable some of these cards are. Shining Oho is Shining Oho worth anything? I just I don't know. I don't know about. I'm gonna have to try to find a way to look these up, and it's gonna take me forever. And I will. You're probably also saying, "Well, oh, don't you know what the price is? You put it on the screen." Uh, I do that after. So as I'm opening this, I have no idea if like this card. It looks fancy and it's shiny. When is it from? Does it have a date? 
Are they old? I I saw one was 2016. I don't think they're... Oh, that's 2021. I don't know. They do look fancy. I just have no idea the value of all these Pokemon cards. Well, I was not expecting so much Pokemon. So my guess is this is someone who started playing Magic in the last couple of years. Uh, and, or started playing card games in the last couple of years. Snorlax. Isn't Snorlax like really good i don't know enough about pokemon to really say so like half of these good cards are pokemon cards i just don't know like i could be i could be scrolling past like hundreds of dollars of cards here and i would have literally no idea some of these appear like they were in a deck because they're in sleeves so maybe this is like a super expensive <laughs> pokey kid a super expensive uh pokemon deck i just i i don't know I guess I'm going to have to do the research on it and find out. Or if you know the prices of any of these and you're looking at these cards and you're like, oh my god, they're... Oh, Pikachu! I know Pikachu. Pikachu's in uh, the super annoying character in Smash. <laughs> With the lightning bolts. I hate playing Smash against Pikachu. Ditto V. <laughs> uh, looks like a friendly a friendly Pokemon. Ooh, flying Pikachu. Flying Pikachu. We got a whole playset? We got a playset of flying Pikachus? Oh god, we did it. <laughs> We did now we did it. We did it. Now we're we're uh, we're set. Time to retire. <laughs> Skizzlepeed. Pokemon does know how to name their cards, don't they? Flying Pikachu number five. They, oh, if those are worth anything. Surfing Pikachu. What does Pikachu do all day? Like, does Pikachu just just wander around and find different strange modes of traveling? I'm gonna fly today, I'm gonna surf. Mewtwo. I I don't know why I thought Mewtwo was worth something. Alright, well, <laughs> A bunch more a bunch more Pokemon cards with a Rise of the Dark round. Oh. All right, let's look at this last pile. Mirror Maid. Midnight Clock. Amazing Commander card. I play this in, like, every blue deck. Read the Runes. Also, uh, okay, Commander card. Ambassador Bl <laughs> Blippity Bloppity Bloop. <laughs> oh, good old Unsets. Garrick Unleash. Castle, Castle Ogden, uh, Lockwain is actually a very good card as well. Ooh, Black Market. I wonder if Black Market's been reprinted too much to be worth anything. Maybe. Speaker of the Heavens sees some competitive play. That might be worth a bit. Palaka Worm, now an uncommon. Living Twister. Exus. Arland Voice of the Back. Do some more of the Spark stuff. Wait, are we back to Pokemon? Dove in into. <laughs> Nick it. Nick it. Ooh, Foil Goblag. Ah, uh, Strixhaven, I think. Look at that art. That's such a great piece of art. Shout out to uh to Wiley Becker because uh some of the best recent art comes from Wiley. Dark Ritual, currently wreaking havoc on a uh, timeless on Magic Arena. Gales of Prismari. It wouldn't be a video on the opening channel without a snarl, would it? <laughs> it just we can't get away from it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Opening booster boxes, opening collections. There's always a snarl. One thing is consistent, and that is the snarls. <laughs> Raska Swarm's Eminence. What do you think of Devastating Mastery? So four mana wrath, except your opponent gets to bounce two non-lands, or six mana wrath and it gets all non-land permanents. Should this card see more playing commander? I never I don't see it that much. I guess the, the cost of letting your opponent bounce a couple... Oh, is that another... Oh, my God. Is that four One Rings? Did we get a play set of One Rings out of this collection? <laughs> okay, so uh, this was the best ooh, blind collection buy that I have ever that I've ever had. I think we're going to come out ahead. I think we're actually going to come out ahead without looking at a single card. Revitalize. Some Paulo. Elite Spellbinder. Good card. Those are some nice full art lands. Those are some good ones. Ether Channeler. Uh, it came from Planet Glurg. Mythic. <laughs> Except it's Acorn Mythic. You may uh, you may have it enter the battlefield as a copy of X different creatures on the battlefield. Good old good old unset stuff. Stall for time. Phasing of Zelfir. Some uh, art cards. Tokens. Heraldic Banner. Well, I think we're getting down near the end. Levisa Cold Eyes, Goblin Goon. Goblin Goon is so incredibly bad. <laughs> Four minutes, six, six, but it can't attack unless you control more players than the defending player. Can't block unless you control more than the attacking player. Can we get one more good card? One more. How about one more one ring? I don't want to be greedy, but can we get five one rings out of this collection? <laughs> Vandress Gargoyle and Jamie Lamel and 
Drana, and Vasir is here, and we're right at the end. Charmbreaker Devil's Ghoulcaster Mage. Kells hollowed one good card. Teddy Bear Token. That's got to be worth something. And Phasing his Elf here. Deathbringer Leash. And Belmore. One of my one of our spoiler cards. We actually spoiled that card. Well, this is one of the weirdest collections I've ever bought. I think we might have done it. I think we might have got value. And that's not even including that huge mess of Pokemon cards that I don't know anything about. So if you know anything about the Pokemon cards, let me know. But, well, uh, I'm going to come back with a wrap-up. And I'll, I guess, let you know after I add up all the prices. All right, future Seth here. You can tell by the hat. This future, there are hats. I know last future, there were no hats. Uh, the future is very inconsistent when it comes to headwear, but don't think about it too much. But I'm here to wrap up this absurd collection, and it was a good one. This is by far the best collection we've opened on the channel. So we spent $500, and going into it, I was pretty nervous because we broke the first rule of collection buying, which is only pay for what you can see. And with this collection, we saw literally zero cards, not a single one. We were in the dark. And once we started open it, I got even more scared because the first box we opened was a bunch of empty booster packs and Lost Caverns of Ixalan commons. And I was thinking, oh no, we're going to get scammed. We spent 500 bucks on this and we're going to get like 20 bucks of random commons. But then we started to see some good cards. We saw some one rings. We saw some bow masters. And by the end, I was thinking, okay, I think we did pretty well. I think we ended up plus EV on this one. We actually gained some value, but we actually did way better than I realized. So if you count up all the numbers to the best I could do, because we had all those Pokemon cards, which I'm really bad at Pokemon, and I did my best to value them. If you saw me miss anything, let me know in the comments, because I'm sure I missed a ton with those Pokemon cards. But we spent 500 ended up with like $1,250 worth of value, which outside of winning the lotto and finding a Black Lotus or something, is about as good as it gets when it buys collections. Like, we doubled up our value in then some, which is absolutely insane, and it's even better than that, because I'm holding this, like, little pile of cards, like 10 cards here, this basically pays for our entire collection. When it comes to collections, there's like soft value and hard value. If you remember our Goodwill collection buy, we were like pulling out all these like two, three dollar uncommons just to try to get our value back. And that's great and you should do that. But the problem is when you go to sell a three dollar uncommon, you're not gonna get much value for it. When you pay buy list prices, you pay for shipping, all that kind of stuff, you end up getting like 50 cents, even though retail is three dollars. And the exciting thing about this collection is we got a ton of high end card so of course we got four copies of the one ring cheapest one's like 65 uh the the foil main set one's like 95 so that right there is like almost 300 dollars of value in those four cards and then it keeps getting better like we got the ragavan that's like 50 dollars. we got two bow masters that are like 60 dollars. we got the blight steel uh double masters box stopper that's like 75 we got the party three great henge that's like over 50 and then the card that surprised me the most was actually this resplendent angel so I thought this Resplendent Angel was like a $10, $15 card because it just got reprinted, right? I knew it was like $30 before it got reprinted. And I figure, okay, it got reprinted. Foils aren't worth anything. It's going to be like $10, $15. Bucks. Well, it turns out because this is the promo, it's actually worth like $95, bucks, which means this is actually our most expensive card or technically tied with the Foil One Ring for the most expensive card in the collection, which means just this like handful of cards more than pays for our entire collection. So we got all of our value back with this little handful of high-end stuff. And then we have a ton of stuff that's like three or four dollars. We get a few cards. We saw like the Virtual Loyalty, the Rise of the Dark Realms that are like 20, 25 dollars. And then we get all the Pokemon stuff too. So there is no way we don't come out of this a winner. Like we came out super far ahead on this one. So yeah, just a really good collection all around. So last thing I gotta do is send these cards off to Card Conduit so we can get some cash to buy our next collection. And if you ever want to sell some cards quick and easy, Card Conduit's the way to do it. Go to cardconduit.com. You can have an order set up in a couple of clicks. And the great thing about Card Conduit is you don't got to like sort your cards or any of that. You just put them all in a box safely so they don't get damaged during shipping. Send them out. Card Conduit does all the work. So we're going to send these out. We're going to pay a 10% service fee, which for this order is actually going to be like over $100 because there's so much value in this collection. But it's still like so worth it to avoid all the work. And then in like a week, we'll get a payment in our PayPal account that we can use to buy our next collection. And you can even get another 10% off if you use the cold MTG Goldfish over at cardconduit.com. So anyway, that's been our collection for today. 
I will say, last thing, please don't buy collections in the dark. It is a ridiculously huge risk. It is not wise. Don't do it. Pay for the value that you can see. But in this case, taking this ridiculously huge risk actually paid off and we got an awesome collection. So anyway, that's been our collection for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you see anything I missed in the collection, please timestamp it, put it in the comments, especially with the Pokemon stuff, because I have no idea. We might have like hundreds of more dollars of Pokemon cards. I tried to look it up the best I could, but Pokemon's super confusing to me. So if you see anything I missed, timestamp it, stick it in the comments. It would be super helpful. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you soon. Looking for even more magic? Well, check out the video where we put eight pounds of cards from Goodwill, or maybe our Ravnica Remastered Collector Box opening.